Well, hello, friends. Thank you for joining me today. It's been a wee while since I've had any real conversation online, so I thought it was appropriate that I jump back on and get back in the saddle, as they say. Um, and since it's the um, October is the most is the month for the most holy rosary, I thought I would just share on the rosary itself and the power it has had in my own life, and indeed the power it has had on our ministry, because our ministry is very much Marian focused. Um, and you know she has been our lady has been the driving force um around a lot of what we do and um, it has affected my life personally in a great way and has provided me with great comfort throughout the years so i'm forever grateful to our lady uh, for bestowing uh, onto us this wonderful prayer and i just want to share with you around some of those promises that she that she gave to saint dominic to those who recite the rosary she said I promise my special protection and the greatest grace is to those who shall recite the rosary. She says, the soul who recommends itself to me by reciting the rosary shall not perish. Those who have true devotion to the rosary shall not die without the sacraments of the church. I shall deliver from purgatory those who have been devoted to the rosary. Those who propagate the Holy Rosary shall be aided by me in their necessities. All those who recite the rosary are my beloved children and the brothers and sisters of my only son, Jesus Christ. And devotion for my holy rosary is a great sign of predestination. You know, friends, the Synod is coming up, as you probably know, and there is somewhat anxiety around it um, as to what is going to come out of it. And I'm just reminded again of Our Lady's lace message um, from Medjugorje when she takes us back to the first days of when she started to appear there. And she says, Dear children, I am calling you to strong prayer. Modernism wants to enter into your thoughts and steal from you the joy of prayer and of meeting with Jesus. That is why, my dear children, renew prayer in your families so that my motherly heart may be joyful as in the first days, as in the first days she was in Medjugorje, when I had chosen you and day and night prayer resounded and heaven was not silent, but abundantly bestowed peace and blessings on this place of grace. Thank you for having responded to my call. I guess, you know, heaven responded to Medjugorje because it was such a faithful place. It was such a place where the rosary was was said and said so devoutly. And I guess she's calling us back to that prayer of the heart. And I think it's so important that this coming October, that when we do say a rosary, it is a rosary of the heart. Not a rosary that we just say, that we're mindful of the mysteries, that we're mindful of what the Lord has done for us and that we're mindful of the beauty of this gift that has been given to us, that is the Most Holy Rosary. And I want to ask you and encourage you, I should say, to pray for the church and to pray for the sinner because regardless of what comes out of it, God's holy will, God's holy divine will will reign and will be sovereign. I want to ask you especially to pray for the church and of course, to pray for our priests because they need our prayers more so now than ever. So friends, thank you for joining me today for this brief message on the rosary. And I wanna encourage you to press on for October and, and, and really pray if you can and when you can. And again, I hope to be back online very, very soon. Back to the conversations, um, to meaty conversations. And again, I just want to thank you for joining me today and I will speak to you real soon. Okay, friends, until next time. Bye-bye for now.